We are the champs, champs, champs in Christ. We are the champs, champs, champs in Christ. Welcome to Renewal Lutheran Church and Oasis of Care. Good morning, kids. Are you ready for some fun? Let's go!
Today, I'm going to tell you a story about a kid who's dressed like you. I was at the playground and this boy pushed me down. Everyone came and shouted, fight, fight, fight. You fought? Nope. I walked away. But if you fought, I would have smashed him into pieces. When I walked away, all the other kids went. Oh, what a scary cat. They would have cheered me on when I won. But you were being a peacemaker instead of a troublemaker. I would rather get a well done from God than cheers from those kids. Hmm. Me too. Do you know kids? It's so much better to be a peacemaker than a troublemaker. If someone pushes you down, you can choose to do two things. One, you can fight back. Number two, you can just walk away. Let's see what happens when you fight back. Oh dear, he's bruised and he has a big black eye. Both of them are hurt and no one won. Let's see what happens if you walk away. <laughs> you see, when you walk away, no one gets hurt and you will lose a friend. In Matthew 5 verse 9, it says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Did you know when you walk away, you're being a peacemaker? God says, you are blessed and you're part of His family. Do you know what else does the family of God does? They love one another and show kindness to one another. Sometimes, people can be very mean to you, but doesn't mean that you have to be mean back at them. Because you have Jesus and you are different. You are a child of God. Hey, hi. I'm sorry for meeting you. You want to play a game? Yeah, let's go to the classroom. When bad things happen to us, we have to be patient. Have the self-control not to fight back choose to be happy and kind to others, you know why? Let's find out in the Bible story. This is King Jehoshaphat and God was with him because King Jehoshaphat followed and obeyed God. However, there were a few countries that wanted to fight against King Jehoshaphat's kingdom. When he heard of it, King Jehoshaphat was very afraid. So he begged God for his help and asked everyone in his kingdom to gather together to ask God for help and asked everyone in his kingdom to fast and the people came together to seek God's help. King Jehoshaphat stood in front of everyone and prayed, O oh Lord, you are a powerful and mighty God. No one is greater than you. So please stop the armies from attacking us. We do not know what to do but we are looking to you for help. All the people in the kingdom, men, women, and little children, stood there before the Lord, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon one of the men standing there. And he said, Listen, God says to not be afraid, for the battle is not ours, but God's. We did not need to fight, for God is with us. Then everyone worshiped God and praised God. Then King Jehoshaphat sent the singers to walk ahead in front of the army and they praised God as they led the army. The very moment they started praising, an amazing thing happened. God caused the armies of the other kingdoms to fight against each other. When King Jehoshaphat's army came to overlook the battlefield, the enemy was defeated. The army went to collect their valuables and there was so much that it took them three days to collect it all. They were overjoyed and praised God. They returned home joyfully with singing and praising because the Lord had given them the victory and the kingdom of Jehoshaphat was at peace because God had given peace. King Jehoshaphat didn't only have one enemy, he had 
three enemy armies that wanted to fight with him. But as King Jehoshaphat's men sang praises to God, guess what happened? The enemy was miraculously defeated. They didn't have to fight the battle. In the same way, when people are against you, you can sing praises. We don't have to fight back because God will fight for you. Isn't it great that we have God with us? Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for helping us be peacemakers even when others might be mean to us. We pray that you will help us to do what is right and help us love one another at all times. In Jesus' name, Amen. Morning kids, happy Sunday! Today we're gonna make water cap soccer field. So you can use the shoe box or any rectangle size box as well. So next is a piece of paper, ruler, marker pen, pencil, plate, use it when your parents are around, scissors, water cap. Very important. Blue, or you can have the double sided tape. Last but not least is the cardboard. Okay, shall we start? Let's go. First, we will we will draw the circle using the bottle cap. Around it and cut it. So make sure it is big enough to cover your bottle cap. Also, draw a design. Next is to use the glue and glue it. We will move on to in the net for your skirt. Here are the measurements: 15 cm high, 20 cm wide, and from there. Each side you will have 3 cm and then you cut it out. So this is how it looks like after you cut the edge you put both ends and what you can do is you can fold. After you fold it, you can see how it looks like. You can use the tape to stick. Once you stick at the edge here, you can start to design your net. Then use another tape to stick at the end so it's secure. Make a hole bigger than this bottle cap so that you can drop from there. Make sure you have your parents to help you on this. Ta da! So, last but not least is to draw your fill. Of the eggshell cracks, and you peel off the 
Y sí. Y pliego, dos boquetes de derecha, dos boquetes. Y pliego. Ahora, ¿qué necesitas hacer? Necesitas dos boquetes. From the good one and separate. You're just gonna need to take this off. Good. 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 Now I'm going to take a paper and stick it See, you're done with it. All you need to do now is mash the egg. So just take a spoon of fork and just crush the egg like so. Crush it and halfway through, take another spoon, bring some mayonnaise. Open it, take the spoon out, and this will help soften and give it taste. Two spoons full of mayonnaise if you do for it. Smash it again. Two. So you don't want big clumps of the egg because it's meant to be soft. So once you're done with that, Small taste. Like so. So, by the taste of it, I can see that it needs a bit more salt. So now you are done with that. It's probably easiest part of the plate. So you're done with this. You put it aside, and here comes the fun. You're gonna take a big plate. You're gonna get some bread. Once you got the bread, bread, you need a knife to spread them first. Continue. And just spread it around the bread. If you wanna toast it, it's fine. But I will spread the butter around the bread. Bread. Okay. And just bring it on the egg. Depending on how much you want to make it. Once you've done that, for both bread or however much you like, bread with eggs. Now, put the spoon away and main ingredient. Yeah. So, this. Don't forget this. Put them on the ketchup and what you want to do is you can either put the bread together like that or you can just fold it. Once you've done that, you can add other ingredients like cucumbers, lettuce, or any vegetables that you want. And yep, yeah. see you. Time for the taste test. It's awesome. It's great. So, definitely don't want to do this like that. Bye bye. Bye, kids. See you next week. We are the champs, champs, champs in Christ We are the champs, champs, champs in Christ